Video streaming company Netflix reports its fiscal fourth quarter earnings after the close of US trade on Wednesday, 18th of January. FactSet is looking for a 30% rise year on year for the fourth quarter to 13 cents a share on total streaming revenues of $2.34 billion. The stock has just nudged a new record high. With his thoughts on the company's progress, Cyrus Mabelwaller joins us now on the line from CM Research. Cyrus, good to talk to you. I know you can't comment on the numbers specifically, but the stock price takes the market capitalization to almost $60 billion. Is this valuation likely to be justified by the earnings numbers? Yeah, I think the first thing to say is that Netflix management has done a fantastic job in capitalizing on its first mover advantage in the internet TV space. Uh, the key going forward in terms of Netflix valuation is what will the competition do and what will regulators do. And I think in both areas, um, uh, you know, Netflix has some challenges. So first in competition, uh, Amazon of Prime, of course, is already a big competitor and it's growing fast. But other competitors like Alibaba, Apple TV, Google TV, maybe even Huawei, Sony, uh, Samsung, Th these companies are all, all going to enter this internet TV space that, sa that uh, Netflix I is the market leader in. Uh, and then secondly, there's a regulatory issue with uh, President-elect Trump uh, coming into office in the next couple of days, uh, and that is net neutrality. Netflix is one of the highest users of internet bandwidth uh, in the U.S. and in many of the 130 countries that it operates in. And certainly in the U.S., there's a debate about wh whether President-elect Trump will relax or even scrap net neutrality rules. And if that happens, Netflix could be one of the biggest losers. Well, let's, let's, let's take a look at the point you make about competition. Uh, the company yeah. produced 600 hours, I believe, of original programming in 2016, including the likes of Stranger Things, The, the Crown, and also Narcos. Uh, Netflix has promised a 1,000 hours of original content this year. And of course, as I said, this is one of the ways in which it can stand out, um, uh, apart from the competition. Expanding original programming, though, is, is both costly and raises the risk profile of the company and the investment potential. Do you think this is the right thing to be doing at the moment? I, I think it's the right thing to be doing. Uh, but as you rightly mentioned, you know, content prices are going higher. And as bigger, uh, and the problem is many of Netflix's competitors, uh, Amazon, Apple, Google, have a lot more cash than Netflix does. And therefore, that's only going to drive these content prices higher. International expansion, of course, another plank. And you mentioned the fact there are 130 countries around the world yeah. uh, as of the most recent update from Reed Hastings, the CEO. Clearly, there's a saturation point at some stage. Are we anywhere close to getting this? I, I know they don't just use um, English language um, channel as well. They, they do international. So obviously, the options are there to expand in other areas. But are, are we close to a saturation? Uh, no, I, th I think we have a long way to go in terms of uh, global penetration of, uh, of video streaming or internet TV. I mean, at, uh, you know, three months ago, Netflix numbers were 83 million subscribers worldwide, of which about 46 million were in the U.S. and 36 million internationally. Um, uh, so I think, uh, it's, it's, uh, I think growth, there's a lot of growth still to come here. Uh, the question is whether Netflix will get it uh, and at what price, given the competition that's coming. Do you think that they're prepared to pay a higher price to get that, uh, that advantage over the competition? Or do you think, as you say, perhaps maybe Netflix is in a, 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 a slightly disadvantaged situation? Um, I think the advantage of Netflix is it's got first mover advantage. It's got, uh, it's got the net network effect. People know Netflix for this business. The disadvantage is it doesn't have an internet ecosystem in the way that Apple, Google, and Amazon do. Uh, and, and therefore, it doesn't have other... Um, freebies, if you like, that it can give its customers in order to, to keep them sticky. All it's got is one product, uh, whereas Amazon, Apple, and Google have, have an entire ecosystem with which they're competing. Yeah, look, okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. But, uh, Cyrus, thanks indeed uh, for joining us. Good to talk to you again. Pleasure. That's Cyrus Mewawala. He is from CM Research, taking a look at uh, the earnings out uh, from Netflix due after the bell on Wall Street on Wednesday evening.